First up, the story everyone is talking about today. The feds raided homes in Los Angeles and Miami that belong to rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. And tonight we hear those raids are linked to possible sex trafficking. A criminal defense attorney will share his perspective in a moment. But first, here's the latest on the situation unfolding on two coasts. Uh, I was shocked. I was I was taken back. I was really shocked. I mean, I, I never I never even expected this to happen. Uh, more people coming out. Who's this guy? Yeah, they're all kind of dressed. Definitely alike. shocking That's and hectic out here in Holmby Hills at one yeah, of Sean Diddy like Combs' workers. homes. We were first on scene as it all unfolded. We came right in the middle of the convoy of about 40 undercover law enforcement vehicles before they even put up the crime scene tape. The Department of Homeland Security making a big bust, officers say, in connection to a sex trafficking investigation. While it was all happening, investigators were also raiding his home in Miami. Homeland Security has not yet released details or named Diddy as the focus of the investigation. The 20 year old Ryan Mendelson, he's lived nearby his whole life and he often visits his best friend just a few doors down. But I've seen one once a week, girls lingering outside. I drive by a lot um, and I see that a lot of girls, maybe five or six girls outside, some leaving, some not, some going in, black suburbans. Never know. I never thought anything of it, but now this is crazy. I mean, as we broke word on scene and from Sky Fox, Mapleton Drive near Sunset yeah, and Beverly right. Glen became a madhouse. And as more Bearcats and undercover cops pulled in, so did the swarms of onlookers, even a celebrity tour bus. We all have to keep our minds open to what's going on here. And then, well, this is from Brooklyn, though. Leave Puffy alone, man. Y'all crazy. There are a lot of questions tonight, including Diddy's whereabouts. TMZ is reporting he was seen at a high-end executive airport in Miami pacing while the raids were going on. Today, I spoke with criminal defense attorney by Yoji Akingbola of the Akingbola Law Firm to gain more perspective on this situation. Obviously, this is a crazy case. We have Homeland Security raiding multiple homes of P. Diddy at the same time. What does that tell us? Well, for one, in order for Homeland Security to even be able to enter into someone's home, that means that there was a federal court judge who signed off on a search warrant to search for the home, mm -hmm. which means at the very least there's probable cause to indicate there's some reason to believe that there's an evidence of a federal co crime inside those two households. And I know they've hit Miami, Los Angeles, and we saw some of his sons in handcuffs. That doesn't necessarily mean they're being arrested, though, right? Yes, absolutely not. Uh, it could be some form of detainment, um, especially when you're involving law enforcement officers entering into a household. That's a lot of unknown variables. They want to make sure that they're safe. So if there's people that happen to be inside the home, you want to make sure that they're detained and secure so the officers can do their job freely without any concern of anything happening while they're uh, conducting their search. And of course, we haven't heard or seen Diddy at all in any of these raids, any well, we haven't heard or seen Diddy in these raids, but I think uh, it's important to look at the history of how we got here. Mm -hmm. um, there have been several civil lawsuits uh, detailing accusations of human trafficking, um, the use of illicit drugs, uh, non-consensual sex um, with those sex workers, and it appears that it seems as though federal law enforcement officers have been paying attention to those lawsuits and want to do some poking around to see if there's any uh, evidence that these uh, accusations are actually give rise to federal crimes. And of course, when you look at civil lawsuits, you think it's civil, but federal investigators or law enforcement simply can't ignore, you know, these major allegations of sex rings and drug trafficking. So they had to take some action. Absolutely, and uh, we're seeing this trend where civil lawsuits are giving rise to uh, criminal investigations. We've seen that with Jeffrey Epstein. We've seen that with Harvey Weinstein. We've seen that with R. Kelly. Where there's smoke, sometimes law enforcement officers believe there's fire. And uh, based upon some of the empirical evidence, sometimes that happens to be true. So it appears that, you know, this is a very well-known person. Uh, he's well-known in, in Hollywood, so this is going to be a big case for federal law enforcement officers. Now, 
we got here where it began with Cassie Ventura, the ex-girlfriend, right? Yes. What happened in that case when she filed a civil lawsuit, not criminal? So she filed a civil lawsuit uh, detailing uh, that she was uh, sometimes forced to have sex with uh, sex workers uh, while being drugged. And as soon as that lawsuit came out, they quickly settled. That's not an admission of guilt, um, but certainly uh, there was reason to settle. After that happened, there was a string of other lawsuits that came out. At least three other uh, women also made similar accusations of having sex with se sex workers, being drugged. And that led to the most bombshell case, which was actually by a former producer on Diddy's album, The Love Album. Uh, his name was Rodney Jones. And he not only made those accusations, but he also uh, had his form of receipts. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't necessarily know if those receipts are uh, accurate. Uh, they, haven't been, um, they haven't been proven in court. Right. But he, he provided pictures in his, in his lawsuit detailing that P. Diddy and his children, his sons, uh, were having uh, sex parties with underage sex workers, that oftentimes people were drugged, that he himself was drugged and woke up in the bed of sex workers and Diddy, um, detailing that P. Diddy usually would record these um, incidents, which is another reason why law enforcement officers may be interested in uh, looking into these homes. Um, sexual assault cases can be very difficult to prove. <laughs> Human trafficking cases can be difficult to prove. And the way law enforcement officers typically try to prove those cases is by looking into cell phone data, video footage. Uh, in the uh, lawsuit, which was a 75-page lawsuit, uh, Mr. Jones detailed that P. Diddy often would record these uh, acts on his own cell phone as well as hidden cameras uh, throughout the house. So do we think uh, an arrest is anytime close or soon, or are they just gathering evidence at this point? At this point, it's too soon to uh, speculate as to whether or not anyone will be arrested. This seems to be an investigatory measure. Um, if there is enough evidence in those homes, um, then certainly we could expect an arrest uh, sometime down the road.